uh, I did some reviews on some of the swords that the Korean company manufactured and uh, had on sale. This particular sword is a replica or a reproduction of Admiral Yi Sun Shin's sword. Uh, Admiral Yi Sun Shin uh, is a Korean hero, war hero. He fended off the Japanese invasion of Korea in 1592. Uh, at one time, he had only 12 uh, battleships, and he took on 133 Japanese battleships and fended them off. So he, he was an incredible admiral. But I'm here to talk about the sword, not so much about the admiral. So, uh, this sword retails, I believe, for 1100 US dollars. 1,100 US dollars and when I looked at this sword oh my god I couldn't believe it I I couldn't believe that for eleven hundred dollars you get so much uh, here we'll look at the the handle the wrappings here the wrappings here are tight nothing moving and once again I thought it was I thought it was glued on but it's not glued on because when I move it, it does move a bit. And I did ask the manufacturer if, if it, they use glue for this. And he said, no, no glue here. And so this sword is actually, uh, the original one is actually twice, maybe three times longer than this sword. But they're selling it at a half uh, version, half size version. And as you can see, here, the Suba, well, you shouldn't say Suba because that's Japanese and uh, it was uh, during the war between Jap Japan and Korea. So here we go. It's, it's beautifully, I believe it's some sort of alloy and there's decoration here. The engravings are very detailed and way over here, it's beautifully engraved here. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot of the bottom. There's some patterns here, lovely. And this is cotton, here's some ray skin. And uh, I'm not sure if the ray skin goes all throughout the whole handle, but if it doesn't, I can't tell. I'll, I'll, ask, uh, I'll ask the manufacturer. Uh, can you tell me if the ray skin here goes all the way around? Does it go, oh, I see. Most of the times they, they only go up to here because they try to save on, save on the material. But this is beautiful. We'll go on to the, the sheath. Beautiful fittings here, ornaments. And the lacquer job, very smooth transitions. I don't see any glue spots, blotch marks. It's beautiful. Right here at the end, oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if we can get a, a shot of the tip of the... There we go. There's uh, some patterns there too. Lovely. Now, if you look over here, there's two rings again. This is typical of Korean swords. Uh, as I've explained before, uh, Koreans would uh, use swords as a secondary weapon. The bow and arrow was their primary weapon because uh, they had excellent bows and arrows. Uh, which, which was uh, used against Japanese guns uh, to comparably uh, 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 great effect. Now, so the Koreans would put this on their belt like this, and uh, when they needed to shoot their bows and arrows, uh, the handle here would get in the way. So what they would do is they would turn this around like this, it would pivot around, and now the handle would not be in the way so much, and they'd be able to shoot their short, powerful arrows, uh, bows. And so you have some details here. Turn it around. Beautiful, beautiful ornaments here. And uh, let's see the part where everybody's interested in, which is the blade. Now here we see some characters in Chinese 
uh, Chinese uh, characters here. Uh, what it says is, from what I've told, Yi Sun Shin, Admiral Yi Sun Shin, had this built, uh, had this original sword built twice as long in 1594, I believe. And the writing says, With this sword, I swear to heaven, as the seas and mountains tremble, I whip, I sweep, the hills and rivers are dyed red with the blood of my enemies. So because of Admiral Izen Shin, Korea was saved from the Japanese invasion. And I, I believe he's the primary, uh, the, uh, the main hero of the Koreans, even to this day, even though it was for over 400 years ago. And uh, here it is, a reproduction, replica of the original one at the Admiral's Shrine, which is like a museum, a great huge museum dedicated to Admiral Yi Zun Shin. And uh, oh, it's just beautiful. Look at it over here. And uh, one thing a little bit uh, unique about the sword, there are two grooves on each side. One, two, here. It's beautiful. And we'll turn to the other side. Here's the other half of his poem, which says, I whip, I sweep. The hills and rivers are dyed red with the blood of my enemy. Just wonderful. $1,100 for this sword. Actually, I purchased this sword. And I'm very happy. So once again, this is Admiral Lee Sun Shin's sword, a reproduction of the Admiral Lee Sun Shin's sword. And uh, I'm very happy with this purchase. If you would like to learn more about this sword and others uh, that the Korean Sword Company makes, please visit them at swordzone.com. Swordzone, Z-O-N-E dot com. Thank you.